Breaking, Muslims just ambushed Trump Tower in NYC- Here's what's happening in the street right now. Muslims have had a heyday over the past eight years under the rule of Barack Hussein Obama who did everything his power to further their plans to take down our country. But lately, these idiots are quickly learning there's a new sheriff in town, as President Trump isn't letting them get away with their crap any longer. Now in another act of civilization jihad, thousands of Muslims have swarmed Trump's New York property, in an attempt to intimidate our president sending him a clear message that they're still actively working of the Islamic takedown of our country. Muslims around the world have had a hard time coming to terms with the Trump presidency, as our badass commander-in-chief has been doing irreparable damage to their forces as of late, unleashing his mad dog Mattis who had decimated ISIS so much, that our military has literally run out of bombs. They're also royally pissed at the migrant ban that Trump continues to fight for as their time to invade our country with hordes of terrorists is quickly coming to an end. So rather than sitting around on prayer mats fasting like good little Muslims should be doing on Ramadan, New York Muslims decided to get feisty, breaking their Ramadan fast in order to send President Trump a nasty message that he'd be sure and notice. Showing up in droves, they arrived at Trump Tower in order to hold a protest, led by Hamas terrorist slash women's march leader Linda Sarsour who was out in full force spewing more of her divisive lies about our president, while continuing to lie about her true intentions as a Muslim activist. As Palestinian Muslim Sarsaur continues to bash our president and label Americans as bigots and racists, what's ironic is that this Hamas-linked terrorist comes from the most bigoted area on the face of the planet, where Jews and Christians are routinely rounded up and killed, prohibited from worshipping God out in the open. But of course liberals were there to praise every moment as these stinky Muslims filled the streets, as their shared hatred for America and our values will continue to bind them together. During Sir Sa'ur's speech, she took a line straight from Obama, spewing the propaganda that Muslims were the ones to build America. We as Muslim Americans are here to stay. This country was founded and built on the backs of Muslims and black people, Sir Sa'ur said. Islam is not a foreign entity to this United States. Seriously, bitch. If you call running 7-Eleven convinced stores building America, you truly have warped sense of reality, but I digress. Other loudmouth bigoted Muslims were there present to bash our president and Americans, as they continued to paint anyone who doesn't appreciate their 6th century religion as bigots and racists. Everyday American Muslims are confronted with bigotry and hate while commuting to work and school, applying for jobs, practicing their faith and simply living their lives, said Anu Joshi, deputy director of the New York State Immigrant Action Fund when the group was ready to begin after. CNN reported. Two advocacy groups, Empower Change and the New York State Immigrant Action Fund invited community members Thursday to protest President Donald Trump's continued xenophobic policies. This time they were not chanting or carrying signs, but gathering for after. It's the first meal eaten by Muslims after sunset during Ramadan, the Muslim holy month of fast and prayer. Police officers stood on Fifth Avenue, one of the busiest streets in the country and watched as a large group of Muslims and supporters sat between security barriers steps away from the entrance to Trump's Midtown Manhattan building. If these morons really think they're going to intimidate President Trump by swarming his property, they have a whole different thing coming. And if they truly think continually playing the victim and demonizing Americans is going to score any points with us, or may want to understand their point of view, they are sadly mistaken. If they truly want to be accepted into our society, they need to start differentiating themselves from the Muslim extremists, instead of constantly whining about the American people discriminating against them.